Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another episode of Transfer Story. A lot of Transfer Story has been happening over the past 48 to 60, 72 hours, something like that. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do an upload because of I've unfortunately uh, been unwell. But I'm back now. If you want to know how I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I feel really good today, which is why this video came up. The only thing if we could turn down a bit, which is unfortunate, we can't control at all, is the heat. But anyway, let's get straight into this episode. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go. So the first player I'm going to kick off with, Harry Wilson. Now, we all know that Harry Wilson is a Liverpool player, which is fair enough. But we all do know that he did go on a season all known to Bournemouth last season and we all know that Bournemouth went down. So with the likes of that happening, obviously lots of clubs became interested in the player, likes of Leagues, Palace, Southampton. Harry Wilson, they put a 20 million pound price tag on him. So with the likes of Harry Wilson, 20 million pound, you know, the likes of Newcastle and Palace and Leagues and Southampton being interested in him. You know, it's not a too bad thing to have. I do think Harry Wilson will go this summer. I'll probably think more benefit leagues than the two other clubs, purely because leagues, even though they have been promoted to the Premier League, ain't really got that much Premier League experience in their squad. So I think Harry Wilson will go but I think he'll benefit Leeds over Newcastle but this still as I said it's transfer stories for a reason so you know watch out for Harry Wilson watch out for his name during this window and let's see what happens with the likes of Harry do you think he's sad Liverpool do you think he go please for free to put it down in the comments below while we're on the likes of Bournemouth Callum Wilson has also been linked with Tottenham now Callum Wilson as I said what Bournemouth player, but they did go down. But with Bournemouth trying to serve some of their key players, bank money for next season to get them back up to the Premier League, Callum Wilson has been named strongly with Tottenham this summer. Now, Callum Wilson with Tottenham, he can benefit Tottenham more ways than one. I don't remember the likes of last season when Harry Kane did get injured, and basically. You know, he didn't have a second striker. Callum Wilson has been strongly linked with Tottenham, as I've, say, as I've said. But I think Callum Wilson will benefit Tottenham. And I don't think he deserves to be in the championship. But with the likes of Harry Kane, I do think he'll be a number two striker for Tottenham. But as I said, Harry Kane has had his injury problems. So, you know, probably a good move for Callum if he does go. Shane Duffy on his way out of Brighton. Now, me being a Brighton fan, obviously, it's where I'm from and who I support. But Shane Duffy does look like he's way out of Brighton. Now, he's had the lights of interest from West Ham. Now, I can't remember the defender's name. What was it? I'll put a picture of him up, up, up on the screen anyway, but Shane Duffy has also been linked with West Brom as well. Now I know as a West Brom fan, subscribe to my channel, at least I hope you're subscribed. I think Shane Duffy will benefit West Brom more than any other club. Because you look at West Ham, and even though they did have their, you know, big problems last season, I do think that the fact of Shane going to West Ham, it might just not play the West Ham way. I know they rough first time as one which build up from the back, but I really can't see Shane fitting in at West Ham. As I said, I think he more benefit West Brom for Arsenal have had a big a bid rejected. With, now, yeah, again, it's called transfer stories for a reason. By Sporting Lisbon for Julian Fernandez. I'll put a picture of him up on the screen anyway. 
Also, I've had this bit projected 29 million pounds. Now, this is an Arsenal that let 55 of their staff go because of, you know, they didn't have the money to pan. They've all made their 55 staff redundant and yeah, they keep paying all these big pass wages. And now we've, we've just literally, as I said, it's called transfer stories for a reason. A 29 million pound bid projected. And I'll, if part of her, the Arsenal fans are true, they've had it, you know, I want to meet with the big members of our Arsenal saying, why did this happen? We took pay cuts for this not to happen. Why is this happening? I hope that is true. If that is true, fair play to you Arsenal players for doing that. But yeah, we've had a £29 million bid projected. That could be a big loss for Arsenal when you look for next season. I know they're now near the top four. I think their best objective at this point in time, and obviously you will see my Premier League table closer the end the uh, start of the kickoff Premier League season. But I think they're top eight most of the time. I think they're top seven, I think I think they finished at seven, but you know, Arsenal top eight, top seven at best. That bid can really let them down. And while I'm on the verge of Arsenal, William is close to signing a contract there of what I'm hearing. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting life for Arsenal next season, I can tell you that already. And while I'm on the verge of Arsenal, they are willing to listen for offers for Lagazette and let him go. Now, Lagazette for me is a player that really didn't have a chance last season. He did play the odd one or two games, yes, but if you think about the chances and the help that he had, you know, the best power I got out there was Bamiang and Pepe. But I'm trying to think of the, you know, attack. I'm not saying about any defenders or midfielders. But, and yet I got the likes of Ozil on, I think it works at 230 a week, and he's not in Arteta's plans whatsoever. So, you know, planning to let next set go, had a £29 million pound rejected by Sporting Lisbon. This could be a big transfer for Arsenal Football Club. Man United are also willing to listen to offers for Jesse Lingard. Now, Jesse Lingard is one of these players, in my mind, that can do the, one of the smallest clubs in the world. Like, I don't know, West Brom, West Ham, Brighton. He can really come in and transfer, you know, transform the club, I suppose, so not transfer. But, Man United are willing to listen to offers. While I'm on the third of Man United, I've had mixed reports about Jaden Sancho's. But, you know, if it does happen, then there'll surely be a video on my channel anyway. But anyway, back to Jesse. Let me go back to Brighton. Okay, but I've got to say Brighton because of this, but I'll come from to who I support. We just let Knockhart go, bring uh, Jesse in, possibly replacement. But, you know, this is going to be interesting for Jesse. Where do you think he will end up come the end of the window? What club do you think he'll be playing for? Put it down in the comments below to all these questions and all what you're thinking. John Stones, Man City player now. To me, John Stones is one of these players that really have, you know, fallen down the pyramid at City. First he was a first 11, then he was a 16, and then he, you know, he's really, I've I think I've barely went in, I don't think he started a game this season, I'm all right, but, you know, John Stones linked with Chelsea. Young philosophy, Frank Lampard's got going on at Chelsea. Really good young players at Chelsea. With the likes of Chelsea doing what they're going to do, John Stones could fit that centre back position perfectly at Chelsea. But yeah, he's got interest from him. Yet again, watch out for this one across the window. 
think it was about 58, 57 days left of the window. Last bit of news I've got for you today, and it's going to please Leeds fans, or it might not, but <laughs> I'm laughing because what I'm going to say in a minute. Ben White, now, whether you're on Twitter or, you know, other social media platforms, I think it was hashtag free Ben White was trending yesterday on Twitter. Fair play for you lot getting that up in, I think it was number four when I looked on Twitter. I might be wrong though, but free Ben White was trending on Twitter. As I said, fair play to you lot to get that trending. But here's the bad news for Leeds fans and possibly Brighton fans. He has had bigger interest from bigger clubs. As I said, it's only a story or rumours, or however you want to call it. But apparently he's an interest from Chelsea as well, which is obviously another big Premier League club. And what I have read is that Lewis Dunn was linked with Chelsea. Now Chelsea are looking more at Ben White than Lewis Dunn. So if you're asking me from a Brighton fan, I'll probably be just a little bit more happier to let Ben White go. That's no offence to Ben, obviously, but so leagues fans please tell me you feel please tell me how you feel down in the comments below about ben white you know the premier league predictions will be coming as well back to my channel near the start of the premier league season we've also got release date coming we've also got more prediction table coming but anyway guys i'm gonna bring this video to an end guys you know what to do give us a big fun if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching Chef sure,